one week ago yesterday, October 3rd, 2011, my vet called me. A woman had brought in a female three-stripe mud turtle she had found in her backyard, apparently trapped back there. It was very weak, and um, she was concerned about it, so she brought it to the vet. The vet called me and asked me if I'd rehab the turtle. I said, of course. So I came and picked her up, brought her home, put her in a tub, and fed her some shrimp, some tilapia, which she uh, ate. And uh, she was otherwise uh, in pretty good shape, just very slow and weak. But uh, the next day I decided let's go ahead and put her in the big tank and, and really see how she is. So I placed her on the basking platform, which uh, you saw her just a second ago, and she's now climbing down for the first time uh, into the water off the uh, ramp on the left side of the basking platform. There's a basking platform in the center of the tank, and there's a ramp going on both directions, left and right, onto a shallow water area. Here you see the left side shallow water area with an acrylic log. She's now exploring down there for the very first time. See all the green moss on her shell. You may notice uh, missing toenails if you look real carefully on the uh, left and especially on the right foot. Rear of her shell is a little chewed away, uh, probably by a raccoon. I see that a lot here in uh, the area with wild muds. That's Muddy, the female um, matriarch of the tank. Have had her for uh, over seven years now. And our new turtle continues to explore. We're not sure how long we're going to keep her. I do want to get those nails grown back before she's released, so it looks like I'm going to have to keep her through the winter. And we'll see how things are uh, when spring comes. She makes uh, five now. We have five turtles in the tank, four females and one male, one very lucky male. She's decided to climb back up. She spent the first day and a half or so mostly on the basking platform. She was uncomfortable in the water. She didn't seem to want to dive, had problems uh, submerging. I was worried she might have a uh, respiratory infection at first. She's now doing very well, though. She can dive very well. Uh, that's, the, that's the basking platform. In the back there, uh, which is hard to see behind those plastic plants, is a kind of shaded area, which is where the females will usually go to lay their eggs. Just uh, relaxing and soaking up some warmth from the heat lamp. Now she's going to wander on over to the uh, other side and explore the right side shallow water platform. She's not shy and, and certainly isn't afraid of people, which is great. Mud turtles actually do very well with people. They, As soon as they know you're not going to hurt them, and especially once you've offered them food, uh, they like you right away. There's not a problem. It's amazing how quickly they become very friendly, very tame. Again, she's hesitant. She's ex exploring again for the uh, just the second time now. A mix of live and plastic plants in the tank. Here you see her on the right side shallow water area looking down on it. There's an acrylic log there and there's some Mopani wood that is strapped to the acrylic log. And she's up there just getting a little bit of sun, if you will, relaxing. Now here is where things get interesting. That's Romeo on the bottom. This is when she was had not yet submerged and gone down to the bottom of the tank. She was bobbing at the top most of the time. Romeo was very interested. He was bobbing his head and, and trying to uh, woo her, and she would not submerge, and of course he can't do anything uh, with her if she stays way up at the surface. So he tried in vain for hours to get her to come down uh, into the water. Well, the next day she finally did, and here you see um, they are obviously um, enjoying each other's company. And you see Muddy coming up on the right there, and there's a problem with with uh, some jealousy here. Muddy has not liked to see Romeo mating with the other females in the tank. When the other females were first introduced, Muddy would actually uh, bite M Romeo and sometimes the female and do what she's doing now, which is follow them around and uh, glare at Romeo. So it's, uh, it's as if she were jealous, something that I wouldn't think um, a reptile, a turtle would have an emotion that they would have, but she's not pleased with what she sees and she will shadow them for a little while before she finally breaks off and leaves, but uh, not happy to see Romeo 
with someone else. That's interesting. Romeo, of course, uh, now the only male with four females. So she's, uh, or he's a bit of a Hugh Hefner here. Now here you see the new turtle um, eating some shrimp, very happily. And here comes the ghost shrimp, ready to steal some of that shrimp. And they will do it. I've got a couple dozen ghost shrimp in the tank, and they will happily steal fish from the turtles. Now, I'm going to wrap up the video with a kind of unusual scene. Mud turtles are aquatic turtles, and they should eat in the water. Most, if not all, aquatic turtles eat in the water. This is a very rare uh, thing that you're seeing here. I have never witnessed this before, a mud turtle eating on dry land. Uh, what happened is I tried to lure the new turtle into the water, and I put a piece of food or some shrimp in front of her, and I expected her to take it and then go into the water and eat it. And I've done this with my own turtles. I've even done this in the wild with turtles. I've given them food on land. They've taken it and gone into the water. Uh, this turtle ate the food right there where I handed it to her. I was absolutely stunned. I couldn't believe it. Mud turtles have very small tongues. It's very difficult for them to eat on land. It did take her a very long time to eat that piece of shrimp or fish, I forget which, probably about 20 minutes or so. It would have just taken her a minute in the water. So if you have mud turtles, they are aquatic. They do need to be in the water to eat. This is very unusual, some kind of adaptation for very difficult times if they're in a drought, but uh, not an easy way to go. I was real surprised to see this. I had never seen anything like this before. Anyway, that's an introduction to our new turtle. I expect we'll have her for quite some time, and you'll see some more of her in future videos. And there she is looking out at the camera. Hope you enjoyed this video.